Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lavette Jallo. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back and thank you so much for supporting. Om du är här och pratar svenska så vill jag bara förvarna dig att det här är en engelsktalande video om hur jag har fixat mitt hår. Ni um, får jättegärna stanna kvar, jag ska se till att försöka prata så sakta som möjligt. Um, for all you English speakers, I was just telling my Swedish speaking audience that this video, as the title suggests, is all about this hair girl. Yes, and that I will do my best to speak slowly so they can understand me because I have a tendency to obviously speak very super fast um, and that's just because I'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys so how do you like my hair? tell me if you think it suits me personally I do really like it and I've had this hair in my house I bought it last year like in June or July or something um, after I saw a couple of my friends in London go to an event where the owner who created this style was doing a presentation. I think her name is Freddie. Um, you can check her out on Instagram and see what she's all about. She seems like a very amazing black woman who created extensions that are made from synthetic fabrics um, in order to mimic our own hair. So I went online. And they have a YouTube channel where they show you like different textures, different colors and things like that. I went online and I clicked the link and I was just like, this is affordable. Guys, it's literally about 80 pounds, including the postage, all over Europe. That's about 800 Swedish krona to get extensions that you can clip on, clip off and put them aside if you're not using them. So let's just go into it. Um, the box looks like this. It's got like a woman with afro on it. Really cute. And on the front it gives you the name of the style that I ordered because this matched my hair um, texture perfectly. And it's called the Zero Drama Queen Big Hair No Care by Freddie Harrell. 0% human hair, 100% premium synthetic hair extension. To the website and I think I ordered a 20 inch bundle but my natural hair is probably a 14, 16-ish, depending on the area of my head it is. So I placed my order on a Monday and by the next Monday I had received a slip to go to the post office and pick it up. So I went and picked it up and uh, where's the hair? I went and picked it up and I ordered two of these boxes and in each box there is sort of like two big bundles and each bundle has like 10 different pieces so it's got mini pieces and it's got longer pieces that you can have at the back and then the mini ones you put in the front so I was like okay cool so last night I was experimenting because I washed my hair and I was just like I don't want to put braids in them in again and do protective styling it would be really nice for me to be able to wear my natural hair to work or something that looks like my natural hair rather than wearing a wig that's straight so I was like, oh my god, I have the hair in my, in my cupboard. So I went in and I picked it up and I opened the first package. And um, this is what it looks like when you first receive it. There will be close-ups of everything. But I opened it and I used only one of the packs. One of the two that are in here looks like this. So basically, it's not super, super thick and it's really, 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 it mimics your own hair it looks like your hair is just a little bit thicker so that's nice if you're doing like a daily you just want a little bit of extra but you don't want to be too extra like I am right now I feel like being extra today so sue me um, but if you want it to just look natural but not super 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 extra then you can use one of the packages and save the other one for a later date you know you can use the one that you have for a couple of months and if you tire and want something new again you can use the backup package or you can just use both, it's up to you. But I bought two of these, so I've got four packs at home. And I think I'll be ordering more because I really, really like it. Now, let's talk about it. Once you receive it, it looks like this, so it's quite in its coils. And you can either use your fingers to open them up and make it full, or you can use a wide tube comb, which I also, yep which I did, um, I used the comb to separate the curls and bush it up to make it look more like my own hair and it worked absolutely fine. I really, really, really 
must say I like the small clips of one as well because they fit really well into the front of your hair. Now we all know we see people with clip-ons in their hair, just a little bit of extra volume. And I'm not really much for clipping on straight hair onto my hair because what's the point? My afro is still going to bunch it up into a fluffy, magical mess. So for me, to be able to have clip-ons that matches my hair means the absolute world to me. Um, I will let you guys see how I installed it and I'll be talking in the background. But it's, this is easy peasy, cheap and good hair. That's all I can say and to be honest, if you're somebody who's got hair that's growing, like you've got a teeny weeny fro and sometimes you just want to pull up the amp and look a little bit extra, this is your friend because it doesn't cost that much and it's a black owned company, we love to support them and it's just, it's convenient, it's really really convenient. Right now, what I have in my hair is one and a half bundles. I've got like in here, there's two. I've used one and half of the other, so I've got a little bit left. So in the future, if I want to make it even bigger, then I can use whatever has been left over. But I think that's enough talking right now. I want you guys to watch me install the hair. If you've watched my video thus far, come on guys. You can just, you can just do me a solid and click the subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you've got questions. And I'll see you in my next video, which is coming in a next couple of days. So, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Truly appreciate you. Bye-bye. So, here is the box of hair. And uh, you've got the information of the hair right there. I got the 20 inches. In each box, there's two of these. And in two of these, there's 10 in each. So, it's about 20 pieces in each bundle. So how I worked with this is that I basically washed my hair, moisturized it, did my LOC method and then I started parting it in short sections starting from the back meaning that basically after I've um, removed some hair at the back which I wanted to be left out I put the rest of the hair up and I take the clips and I open them which you can see here I took the longest piece and that was going to the absolute back so I've opened everything, I clip it in, as you can see, and I've already brushed out the hair. It's better if you brush the hair before you install it, otherwise it can, it's just extra tension on your hair. And I continue using the longer pieces by letting out some of my hair again, and then clipping on the second longest um, clip-on piece as well. So these are only two pieces in my hair thus far. And it's really, really easy to just clip on. So once I put the piece there, you can already see a huge difference in my hair. And I continue and I divide up the shorter piece where it's going to be, as you can see. And I use my fingers to kind of like um, smooth my hair into the extensions. And I apply that piece, as you can see, is a little bit shorter. So I did grab my wide tooth comb because I wanted a little bit more volume. And I combed it out and I still continue. As you can see, my hair is naturally brown, but it doesn't really, it isn't that visible because the hair itself that I purchased was a 1B, I believe. So it's quite dark hair, but you can't tell the difference. So I took the smaller pieces and put them to the side because I would, I aim, my aim was to have a sort of a side part and I just continued filling it in until I was satisfied. And you can place the small pieces wherever you desire. Some people like it at the very front, some people like it on the side. As you can see, I'm building a side part sort of formation on my head, which I'm quite happy with, to be honest. So that's a tiny bit of amount of my hair left at the very front. And I will show you now how I dealt with that one. I opened the second package and basically took the smallest pieces and placed them at the front of my hair. That's only because the front of my hair is quite fragile, so I don't want heavy pieces um, laying on there, so I just applied the smaller pieces there. And as you can see, I get sort of a fringe bangs, depending on which part of the world you're from, that's what you call it. And it's already taken form. Absolutely, absolutely loving it. 
So I open up the last piece that I wanted to add. There's still pieces left from that pack. I combed it out and then applied it on the front of the hair, as you can see. Never mind the white color, that's actually from my lighting, which is coming from above. So the hair's not white or gray or whatever it looks like right now, it's proper jet black, so as you can see. And then what I did was I divided whatever was left and then added a couple more clips at the front and then I used my edge control to gel down the side of my hair and it ended up being very, very, very nice. You can play with it, but just bear in mind, the more you play with it, the bigger it will get. And if that's your deal, then you go for it. Be a queen. So